Hello there. This is Devi Jyoti Das from Product Success Team of ServiceNow. I am a product success architect here, I'm primarily looking at the item area. In today's session, we will look at software install condition and we'll see how this feature helps to achieve better license positioning. This is our safe harbor statement. We will see what is this condition all about, why to use it, what are the considerations, and we'll wind up with a demo. A software install condition is nothing but a condition field in the software model table. It helps SAM admin to apply the licensing of the software based on certain condition on the installations. This feature should not be confused with product installation condition, which is another feature which sits on the top layer or on the product layer. Why should we use this feature? This feature helps to achieve all those situations where you need to license based on subset of condition. The classic case is Microsoft SQL Server and Visual Studio. Few software models which are common to both of these products and SQL Server primarily get charged on when installed on the production environment and Visual Studio get charged when installed in the non-prod environment. Now the components of SQL Server when installed in non-prod can get licensed by Visual Studio licenses. Software installation condition can help to achieve this kind of setup in the SAM solution. Bear in mind whenever we are setting up this condition, the software model has to be on a licensable product. The license under management field should be set to true for that software model and should have an active entitlement tag to that software model. Now before going on to the demo, just wanted to show you this link which is a very good read and you will understand the difference between software model install or software install condition and product install condition. Now let's see a demo on how the software install condition feature can help you optimize your licenses. So now you are looking into my Washington instance and I have kept open the software asset workspace. So I'll now navigate to Microsoft, which I have also kept open, and SQL Server. In SQL Server, let's take 2019 Enterprise. And let's open the count 180. And we could see the count distributed. Let's see the installs. So let's check if we have any VM running on development environment. So it basically designates these VMs are for non-prod or development environment. So we have all these installations on machines, which is for development environment. And these machines are on ESX server has been accounted for uh, uh, licensing in uh, in SQL Server 2019 and let's see where are they should be here okay this cluster so this cluster is accounted currently in SQL Server 2019 enterprise now let's see how software install condition can help here to eliminate licenses for SQL Server which are running on non-prod environment. We don't want this cluster or this 12 licenses to be accounted for or accounted against the stem licenses. And we will now leverage the software install condition to set up that configuration. For that, I have to go to the software model and scroll down in the condition. You should see software install condition. And for Microsoft SQL Server 2019 Enterprise, I'll search the install on CI and then the environment of the CI here and we'll say 
SQL Server 2019 to consider installations which are on production. I'll now set it and save it. Now let's run the reconciliation again. And it is running. So now it has set to 100%. Let's reopen our Microsoft. Now, under Microsoft SQL Server 2019 Enterprise, and we could see the count has decreased from 180 to 168. Let's open the count. And under installation, we don't see those environment development ones or the ESX ones. Let's quickly check here as well. Contains ESX and we could should not we are not seeing the previous or the older uh ESX server which was available in the earlier configuration. Uh where is it? I mean to say the servers ESX one, two, or three because they are on development environment and due to the software install condition the the sql server this model has not considered those development licenses now let's say as per the contract the sam admin or sam manager turns up to you saying hey this development installation of sql server should be licensed by visual studio that's how actually Microsoft sells the license generally. What should we do uh, at this situation? So for that, you need to ensure you have Visual Studio, um, Visual Studio model loaded, and then I have uh, you should declare the suit component. I have already declared it, created a SQL Server Enterprise software model for Visual Studio and declared it as a child to this parent. Now, based on the DMAP, in most of the cases, the child of Visual Studio will be auto-loaded. Just for the sake of this demo, I have cleaned up and kept only this custom uh, created SQL Server. Now, looking into that SQL Server Enterprise for VS, what I declare is, Let's have the environment pointing to development. It means whatever SQL Server installation is on a development machine, consider it for these licenses. Now you could see I haven't declared entitlement here because the entitlement at its parent, which is 2019 Studio 2019, this one, this one to be specific, will cover for it. So the development is set as a one of the value of software install condition. Now bear in mind, this is the platform view of the software model. In the workspace, you can do the same thing by going into this license operation and accessing the software model from here. Yeah, or you can directly navigate from here and do the changes as I have shown a minute before in the same video. Now that I have set up the development environment uh, software uh, condition in child of Microsoft Visual Studio 2019, which is this one. Now let's run the reconciliation again. I'll close all this and run it. And okay, it's completed. And Microsoft and sql server 2019 enterprise should not have uh, those uh, installation considered which is evident from here 168 is the count going to visual studio 2019 and we could see 12 licenses added what are those licenses and you could see those license the ASX server has been licensed by the Visual Studio 2019 now and not by the SQL server licenses. That is how software install condition can help you in the reshuffling the license position as per your contract. It's a very useful 
feature try to leverage the same. Thus, we have seen how software install condition in software model can help you to achieve a better license compliance position as per your contract. With this, I have come to the end of this session. I hope this article will add to the knowledge of your SAM setup.